Hi, this is a quick orientation to Canvas Online at Panola College. This is Anatomy and Physiology, and I'm Dr. Ott. I'll be your instructor this semester. I want to encourage you to ask me for any help if you need it. We're going to start by looking at the home page. This is the welcome page, and the first thing it tells you is to be sure to read the items in the orientation module. And to find that module, you're going to click over here to the modules. And when the modules come up, you'll see you have an orientation module, and then the other modules are listed down below. So we're going to start with a welcome, which is where we were when this recording started. And down here, you'll see that you have a little uh, arrow that's going to take you to the next item in the orientation module. So if you just click that little arrow, it gives you some information on getting oriented, getting started. Um, one of the important components of this course is the disease report. Please be sure to read through all of that, print it, look at it, refer to it repeatedly so that you know exactly what you're doing as you work through your disease report. It'll be a lot less stressful if you do. The course content is located in the modules, and as you complete each module, you have a list here of things that you should do. Be sure to read your book. It's a good book. It's well explained. And with that book comes um, online access, online tools, and a CD called Interactive Physiology, which I strongly encourage you to use for every chapter that you can. It doesn't have every chapter in it, but it has almost every chapter. Um, additionally, I've posted some flashcards for you at a website called studyblue.com. There are instructions here on how to register. Um, please make sure you follow them exactly so that you don't wind up in the wrong spot. Those study uh, cards, those flashcards at Study Blue are your study guide for each chapter. They are going to list for you everything you need to know for every chapter. So get started using them, get in the habit of using them. You can use them on your phone. You can make little quizzes out of them. They're extremely useful, very helpful to study for your tests. You also have practice quizzes for each chapter. The practice quizzes are set up for you to use to test yourself. That is, you should have already studied before you take the practice quiz. Now, if you want to, you can take those practice quizzes um, repeatedly. You can see how you did, but if all you're doing is memorizing the questions in those quizzes, you are not studying effectively. The test bank for the actual exams is much larger than the sample you're going to get in those practice quizzes. So study everything that you see at Study blue on those flashcards. Use the practice quizzes to warm up for the test, but don't study just the practice quizzes alone. You will not see everything you need to see. Um, of course, you're going to try to stick to the due dates. You're going to communicate with me when you need to. Up here at the top, when you are logged in, you'll see um, your inbox. That's your communication tool. You can email me from there. I'm going to be talking to you from there. You're also going to occasionally see some announcements. Uh, but the main links over here that you need are for your modules and, of course, your grades. You can always check your grades. And um, not using the discussions tool too much at this point, but maybe in the future. The assignments are going to show up on your home page when you, link, when you first log in. Uh, you'll have a to-do list over on the side that will tell you if something's coming up. And you can always um, fix your own personal settings so that you could get a text message or an email whenever I try to contact you or whenever there's something new in the course. So um, the official syllabus is here in the module, so you can look through that. Um, more importantly, my syllabus addendum, this is going to tell you how to get in touch with me, where to go for your homework assignments, participation activities, study materials, quizzes, exams, makeups, grade adjustments, it's all here. Anything that you have a question about, you should probably go back to the orientation module. You'll probably get a quicker answer there than you will by uh, emailing me and waiting for an answer. Um, if you click down here at the full course sequence, then what you'll see is that you return to the module so you can get some idea of what's available for you. The lecture schedule, the lab schedule, a link to the flashcards, the homework, 
um, and some PAs. A PA is a participation activity, and you get a small amount of points for participating pretty much on a weekly basis. Additional modules, here's all the information you need for your disease report. You're going to want to read through that. Again, you're probably going to want to print some of those. Anything that's a PDF is a portable document file. It's designed for you to download, save to your computer, print if you want to review it. Um, and anything with a little A is an assignment. So there's going to be something that you need to turn in. Um, for the, each exam, uh, sometimes it's arranged by chapter. You'll have a, either a chapter overview or perhaps an exam overview. Uh, chapter overview is pretty much for the whole thing. Each uh, chapter will also have a quiz, and some of them will have participation activities as well. Not necessarily all of them, but you should always look for them. So I recommend you go through the modules because the chapter overview is available there. And um, you're going to have uh, more information by going to the modules than you will by just looking at the assignments. Uh, last thing I want to leave you with is just get in touch with me. I check my email frequently. You can always email me. I'm pretty quick at replying uh, and I try to remain accessible. I'm here to help you as you go through this course. So I hope that um, you find that you are successful in the course. The more time you have to spend on it, the better your attitude about it, the less anxious you are, the better you're going to do. And it's my job to help you through it. So welcome again to AMP2 online at Panola College. Get in touch with me if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing you online. Thanks. Bye.